So before we get into the video, I want to introduce you guys to Skillstrap. If you are a YouTuber and you're watching this video, you know on YouTube, if you don't have like 10K subscribers or more, you cannot own your own merch. So what Skillstrap does for you is create your own store for you. All you have to do is sign up, provide them with your logo, provide them with the information that you want to be written on your shirt, and they will set up your store for you. All you have to do is sign up at jointhatskillstrap.com and provide them with all your information and your PayPal as well because that's how you will get paid whenever someone purchases something from your store. This is a shirt from my store. So go ahead and sign up and whenever you're signing up the form, you will see a question that asks who told you about Skillshop. You click that drop down button and you will see my name, the Row family, and you will select that. All right, so go ahead, own your own merch and start your own small business hey guys welcome back to my channel last year mother's day i made the rum and raisin ice cream and ever since everyone has been asking me to make grape nuts in grape nut ice cream is highly requested and you know it's almost mother's day again thank you for stopping by if you're new on my channel welcome for those who have been here i appreciate you guys i appreciate the love and support and i'm happy to have you once again so all the ingredients that you will need for this recipe is some heavy whipping cream, sweet cream, vanilla. You're going to need some condensed milk to sweeten your ice cream. Going to need your grape nuts, of course, the star of the show. And in today's ice cream recipe, I'm going to be adding some rum cream. It is quite optional, but I need a different touch to my ice cream. So therefore, I'm going to be adding some rum cream or you can use the Baileys just the same all right so starting off i'm gonna be whipping my heavy cream and i'm gonna be starting off real slow and then i put it up to medium and then to high speed until i have this nice fluffy texture that i need to create my ice cream recipe just like what you see in this clip right here this is what your heavy cream should look like so now i'm going to scoop it out into a glass bowl and then we're going to continue with the process so the first thing i'm going to add to this is the sweet cream i'm just going to add a small amount um, since i'm going to be adding my condensed milk i just need a small amount of sweet cream to give me that nice creamy texture and then i'm going to add my vanilla for the vanilla i'm going to add a teaspoon and a half when it comes on to the measurement as you guys can see in this video i am not using any measurement i'm just freestyling so apart from the vanilla and the heavy cream i just go ahead and just pour according to my taste especially when it comes on to the condensed milk not everyone like their ice cream sweet I mean it's a sweet treat but not everyone wants it extra sweet so it's up to you when you're adding your rum cream your condensed milk your sweet cream it's up to you whenever you go ahead and taste it you will know when to stop all right so I'm gonna be mixing and tasting at the same time and then I will know the amount of condensed milk that I want in my ice cream all right so go ahead and adjust it to your taste However, for those persons who will need an exact measurement, I will give you a list of ingredients and the measurement in the description box for my previous ice cream recipe. All right, so you can look in the description box on YouTube or in the comment section on Facebook. So now I'm going ahead and I'm adding my grape nuts. I'm gonna add a little, mix it up and see if I need more, and then I will pour more afterwards. So based on the amount of requests that I got to make grape nut ice cream, I realized that a lot of Jamaicans love grape nut ice cream. My sister, this was her favorite ice cream growing up and it wasn't my favorite ice cream to be honest. But I can tell you that this one, it tasted really good. I don't know if it's the rum cream that I add in there, that's why I'm attracted to it, but I'm, as, as far as I can remember, I didn't like grape nut ice cream. So you guys must try this recipe. And if you don't like grape nut and you love rum and raisin, check out my previous video. One that I made last year, rum and raisin ice cream. Check it out. I'm just adding a pinch of salt in there. And then I'm going to mix it up and I'm done. Yeah, this is it guys. I'm going to pour it into this container. I'm going to put it in my freezer overnight. 
So after adding all my ice cream in the container, I want to make sure that it is properly sealed so that it can freeze nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of plastic wrap over it and then I am going to add the cover on it afterwards. So if you have plastic container, that works great as well. Just make sure that it is properly sealed and then place it in your freezer and yeah. Just stay tuned, keep on watching guys. So it's the next day and I'm here to show you guys the result of the grape nut ice cream. I have my scoop ready, I have my bowl ready and I'm gonna share a bowl for you. <laughs> yes, for you. All right, so I'm just gonna share a bowl to show you guys what it looks like and the creaminess and the texture. And if you don't have any access to sweet cream, you can always make this ice cream without sweet cream. I've made ice cream several times without using any sweet cream, just by using the condensed milk, the heavy cream, and my vanilla, and whatever flavor ice cream I want to make. So here it is, guys, the grape nut ice cream. You asked for it, so here it is, and I hope you guys make it, okay? So you can go ahead and share the recipe with your friends and your neighbors just click the share button and share this video okay thanks for watching